All right, so I, I finally got the draft control just right. See how it's a little rougher here, but it's really smooth there. Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back and welcome to any new viewers. We appreciate everybody joining us. So let's get into this one. This is all about the draft control on your tractor. And I'm going to show you how it works on my tractor, the Coyote RX 7320. So I used to know how to use it better on, I think all of my tractors have had it, but one of my John Deere tractors had it and I think my first Coyote had it and I had kind of forgotten how it actually works so recently I got this new disc chisel and it took me a while to remember it but now that I remember it I'm going to show you guys how it works and what it actually does and I'm going to tell you it works really really good the usefulness of the draft control is for any kind of implement that digs in the ground basically and I'll tell you I'm really looking forward to using it for my new Rhino tiller because it's it should really really help from the tiller so anyways digging pieces of equipment when they dig into the ground they want to tend to pull downward they, they suck that implement down so if you look at this this disc chisel that I'm using here when you lower it down into the ground and those chisels bite into the ground they pull that implement even lower down and so what that does is it digs deeper than you might want to dig um, the same thing with plowing if you have a four bottom plow on here or a two bottom plow and you only want to plow let's say eight inches deep then plows dig down and they want to suck downward and they might dig you know 10 12 14 inches deep well the draft control is made to control that to control that three point from going down any lower and possibly higher I don't know for sure that I'm not a total expert on it but I can tell you that it won't let it suck down any lower and I'm going to show you how it works here and we're going to try it out deep down in this sod but this is really old stuff here so uh, you lower your uh, regular one all the way down and then your draft control and I need to set it but I'm still monkeying with it so the different tractor manufacturers all are a little bit different. Uh, the Branson, I think, had an electronic one. But this is my Coyote. So the black three-point lift lever is the normal three-point lift lever. And then the inside one right here, the blue one, that's your draft control. So in a nutshell, normally your draft control is all the way down and you use your black lever to raise and lower your three-point implement. But when you want to use the draft control, and what happens when you don't use the draft control is that implement can keep sucking into the ground and go deeper. If you've ever used a tiller, you know that feeling when you're only trying to till three inches, but it sucks down and tills eight inches. But if you want to use the draft control, you put your normal three point, in this case the black one, all the way down and then you raise it with the draft control lever to the height that you want it and now the draft control is engaged and I'll see if I can show you but you can actually feel it on this tractor you can feel like vibrations uh, when, when it wants to suck deeper the hydraulics are doing something which is causing these vibrations so that it won't allow that implement to suck any deeper so I'm going to show you on this really deep tilling field and then I'm going to show you on one that I just want to skim the top two inches here and you can kind of compare both of these and see how it works out in the field. Deep down in this sod but this is really old stuff here so uh, you lower your uh, regular one all the way down and then your draft control and I need to set it but I'm still monkeying with it. So now watch and listen. I'm going to lower it just a smidge more and then you're going to hear the tractor make like a noise. It's, it's hard to describe and it, you can actually see it vibrate. That's how I know that draft control is working and not letting the implement suck down any further. Alright, I got to run this 
small field twice because it's just so rough uh, from old, old sod. But I got the draft control figured out. So to try to explain it for the newer tractor owners a little bit more, basically when you lower your three-point arms it just lowers all the way and there's no hydraulic pressure on so the heavier the thing that's on there the lower it's going to sit or dig into the ground um, conversely when you put the draft control on it's actually using the hydraulics to control the depth that it will go so in this very first field the draft control wasn't really that important because i was digging down eight inches to rip up the sod now let's go to another field that's in much better shape than this where I only want to rip up the top two inches and let's see if I can do that with this you know deep chisel plow implement. I got one more little spot. This is really good. He already has tried to work it up before with a disc at least on an outer row. I don't know if the tractor broke down or what but now that I got the draft control on stuff like this it's really nice. I'm only tearing up, you know, two to three inches as opposed to six or eight. got the draft control just right. See how it's a little rougher here, but it's really smooth there. That's my second pass with the draft just right. Barely skip. That's a really nice. So look right here, that's two passes with the draft control set. And without the draft control, I could never get that to cut like that. I only cut the top two inches. This is ready to plant right here. You got nice one to two inch furrows and you got nice loose dirt. And matter of fact, Curtis did plant it uh, two days later without having to do any more field work on it. So that's the draft control. Hopefully it made sense, you know, trying to lay it out. I appreciate you guys being on board. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, we'll catch you on the next go-around. We've uh, kind of been chasing our tails, but we've got a lot going on. So catch you on the next go-around. Thanks.